would Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass think if they could see us today? I can imagine being Susan B. Anthony. I shall never pay a dollar of your unjust penalty. Susan B. Anthony grew up in the early 1800s. It was a time when women had few rights, but she grew up in a family who did believe women were equal to men. Susan B. Anthony was a suffragist. She dedicated her life to fighting for women's rights to vote. I can imagine being Frederick Douglass. To suppress free speech is a double wrong. It violates the rights of the hearer and as well as those of the speaker. Frederick Douglass was born a slave in 1818. He was told because he was a slave he could not learn how to read. After Frederick Douglass escaped from slavery, he spent his life working for equal rights for men and women. He worked as an abolitionist. He gave speeches, wrote books, and started an anti-slavery newspaper called the North Star. Do you think one of us will be an important person in history? Well, I can imagine that. <laughs> Our lives have been shaped by those in the past.